Jennifer and I work at the Pleasant Ridge Branch Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cicada pin. And we're going to do this using common household items that hopefully you have at home. And I'm going to also show you how you can use substitutes. So the first things you're going to need are some chenille stems. I have green and black here today, but you can use any color you like. Clothes pins. We've got two different styles here. The style doesn't matter as long as it's kind of a long and narrow clothes pin. You're also going to need a safety pin, some beads for eyes, and again, I've got red beads here, but your beads can be any color you like. And then something to use for the wings. We have wings here that we found at a craft store, but you can make wings out of paper or foil or be creative. You might have something around your house that would work well for wings too. So to start making our cicada, you're going to grab your chenille stems. The number of stems you need is going to depend on the size of your clothespin. I'm going to use the smaller clothespin today, so three chenille stems will work. I'm going to start by just taking two of the stems and twisting them together so they're connected to make one long chenille stem. Just make sure you don't poke yourself with the sharp ends. So I've got a long chenille stem here, and then I'm just going to take and wrap it around the end of my clothespin, and then just start twisting up the length of the clothespin to cover it up. When you're starting to get short of your chenille, your second chenille stem, you can just go ahead and twist another one onto there to give however much length you need. And again, I have a green one here, but use whatever color you want. While we're doing this, we're also going to attach the wings. Now this is really easy to do. All you do is just set your wings on top of the clothespin. Just hold it there with your finger for a minute and just twist the chenille stem around the wings to hold them in place. And then just keep wrapping your chenille stem around to the top of your clothespin. And if you need to overlap because you've got a little too much, that's a-okay. And now I need to add our eyes, our cicada eyes. So to do that, make sure you leave a big length of chenille stem and you can just thread your beads through. It helps if the beads have bigger holes in them so that you can fit the sh chenille stem through. And once you have them on there, don't worry, you can slide them around a little bit. Then just keep wrapping your chenille stem until you have no more to secure it. And if you need to, you can slide things around to adjust things so they look how you want them to. So we've got our cicada made. Now all you need to do is add your safety pin. And this is the simplest part, but you might want a grown up to help you because this is pretty sharp. You're just gonna find a spot in the back of your cicada to slide your safety pin through underneath and up over one of the chenille stems. Here we go, and then you can, you can pin this onto your shirt or onto your backpack or anywhere you would like to decorate with a cicada. If you would like to learn more about cicadas and have fun with some more cicada activities, check out the library's YouTube channel, our website, and our program calendar. Bye. Get free arts and crafts videos with your library card.